He never talked about winning and losing. He just talked about getting better. He had the ability to look into a player's soul and make them great. Arguably the greatest college coach in any sport of all time. New NCAA champion, Stanford! I have to laugh when I think about when I started tennis. I didn't want any part of that game. I grew up on a farm and had a horse to ride every day. And my mom said, hey, let's get a tennis lesson. I said, no way. And she said, do you want to ride your horse this summer? Uh, I'll take a tennis lesson. My parents went to Stanford, so it was really the only school I'd given much thought to. And by the time I was a senior, I was finally a starter, a solid starter. And it was great for me because I knew at that time I was going to go into coaching. And I was just a sponge soaking it all up. When I got out of school, I immediately took a job as a teaching professional at a local club. Anyone came by the courts, I'd take down their phone number and I'd call them. And there were no retainers in those days. I mean, everything I did came back to me in terms of lessons. And then from there, a new junior college opened up. And so I was the first tennis coach there. We won a couple of state championships. So I was getting a nice reputation here as promoter of tennis and also as a coach. After four years, my coach at Stanford retired. So I was ecstatic because that was the dream job for me. I never ever envisioned being the coach at Stanford. And he was just building the program from basically ground zero. He was in a little green shack by the courts and you could just see the passion, the ambition that he had. I told everyone that I really felt we could win a national championship. Literally, I was laughed at. My first year, we were 16th. The next year, we were 33rd. I didn't know many schools in the country played tennis, for crying out loud. And then came Roscoe Tanner, then came Sandy Mayer, and they started winning NCAA championships. Once we won it, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. Then the next year, we won it again. And I said, wait a minute, why can't we keep doing this? So we used to always go up and play Stanford, and, and it was always thrilling. It was kind of learning at the feet of the Grand Master, because at that time, he was building a dynasty. These are the 17 championship trophies that we won. And I know the guys take a lot of pride in what they did to make this possible. So the first time I heard about Coach Gould was watching McEnroe. McEnroe is absolutely ecstatic. Falls into Dick Gould's arms. And then just starting to hear about this legendary Coach Gould at Stanford. I was there for two years. We won the NCAAs both years. And I was just so excited to be part of that dynasty. Good chance for this Stanford grad. When I wasn't really sure I was a good player, he knew I could do great things. He knew I could grow into my game, and he did that for all of his players. You didn't, you didn't know I was going to get somewhat good, but... Uh, I knew um, you were going to get good. I saw you at Davis Cup camp. I knew you were going to get good. It really helps to have a mentor or a coach that believes in you when you don't always believe in yourself. That's good. That was really a good half volley. All right. Woo. To watch Dick coach was a pretty inspirational thing. His appreciation for players, staff, the people cleaning up the facility, everyone around him mattered. When you meet Coach Gould and anyone who's ever met Coach Gould would attest to this, how positive of a person he is. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's just amazing to watch you come along over the course of four years. I appreciate it. And it's genuine and it's authentic for you to feel like the most important person in the world. The East Palo Alto program, that was all coach, being like, hey guys, you have an unbelievable opportunity and we've got a bunch of kids on the other side of the tracks and we're going to mentor these kids and give them opportunities. Thank you for investing in our lives. It wasn't to create great tennis players, but it was to use tennis as a vehicle for those people who become great people. Brilliant, creative, powerful. I've been so fortunate to serve this great university, and I mean serve this university, and try to do it in the highest way possible. I'm really proud of my teams, how well they competed, but more how they competed in terms of sportsmanship and honor. So to me, Stanford was a dream position in every respect. I just feel very, very fortunate to have had the tenure here. Coach Gould, we love you. We appreciate you. You're an absolute legend, an icon, a friend, a mentor. We owe so much to you. We are greatly indebted. Dick, I love you. The way that you transformed my life and changed my life has been incredibly powerful. Coach, from one of your former students and someone who's grateful for the impact that you had in my life and the impact that you've had on thousands of lives, it's an honor for me to be able to congratulate you on your induction into the USPTA Hall of Fame.